So for this video, we're going to review the steps for establishing a nominate diagnosis. Uh, our first step is to do a lateralization test. One test that we can do is a standing flexion test. Um, to do that, we're going to place our thumbs over the PSIS. I prefer to put my thumbs just above the PSIS. Some prefer to go just underneath, some go directly on. As long as you're consistent in how you approach it um, and you can get accurate results, then you can stick with that. Once we have our thumbs placed, I'm going to have you uh, round down, so we just bend forward up a little bit as we go. As he does that, we see that the right side moves up first and first. It's also the last side to move, and therefore he's positive on the right. Uh, and so from there, we would say that he has some type of uh, somatic dysfunction on the right side of either his nominate or sacrum. Uh, we can also do, can I have you like, ASI is compression test with the patient laying supine. We're going to place the, he the heels of our hands directly over the ASIS. We're going to compress the ASISs into the table, and then we're going to check the spring of one side versus the other. And the side with less spring is the positive side. He has uh, a lot of spring on the left side. He has less spring on the right side, which corroborates our standing flexion test that he's positive on the right. Once we have our lateralization complete, our next step is going to be to evaluate the landmarks. Um, and so we can check ASIS by placing our thumbs directly underneath the ASIS. And his ASIS is lower on the right. We also want to check medial lateral symmetry. We can see his umbilicus, which is at the anatomical midline. We can place our hands so that we're going from the midline um, to either side, and then measure them against one another. And his, uh, his ASISs are equidistant from the midline, so we don't think that he has any type of flare um, dysfunction. And then uh, we can also check the medial malleolus heights to see what the leg lengths are doing. His medial malleolus is a little bit lower on the right, which correlates with what we found at the ASIS. And then lastly, can I have you flip over to the prone position? We're going to check the PSIS heights. Okay, and when we look at PSIS height, His PSIS is a little bit superior on the right side um, compared to the left. And so based on all of those, his anomalous dis diagnosis is an anteriorly rotated anomalous on the right side. Okay, can you flip over on your